What's up you guys, Gemma here and back again for another video and happy Tuesday, hope you guys are having an absolutely awesome week. Um, now today I want to show you three areas of my collection that I feel are pretty poor, pretty weak in terms of quantities of game and the qualities of games because I'm conscious recently that I've been putting out a lot of collection videos um, and they're huge collections or decent sized collections with some really good titles, N64, Super Nintendo, uh, PS2, you know PS1, I've pretty much covered it all now. And I've deliberately left out these three things that you guys are going to see today. Um, so I, it's going to be my original Xbox, my weak ass GameCube collection, and my DS collection. I mean, it's, it's just like things that I, I really do neglect. And I've said before, GameCube, I'll only buy games that I know I'm definitely going to play. I don't. I'm not a GameCube collector. There's two sides to this game room. There's the collection side, then there's things I'm going to play. If I'm going to do both, I'll just buy kind of two copies and keep one sealed um, because that's just how I like to approach my collection. So GameCube is literally just stuff I'll just play. Xbox One, I re oh, sorry, original Xbox, really want to pad that out. Really want to get some better games, so please help me out. Let me know in the comment section if there are any original Xbox games that I need to collect. And please tag me on Twitter and let me know what are the weakest areas of your collection. I think we're so hell-bent as collectors and sometimes as serious content creators that we want to show the best of everything. Well now I'm going to show you some weak stuff so be prepared to come with me on this little journey and let's take a look. So here we go, I do plan to move these Uncharted 4 chests right there. I filled some stuff up yesterday, I just kind of cleaned some stuff off the floor, I've got a third one over there. But typically this is what you guys see, I'm not going to go into it too much as there, there are tours on my channel and I don't want to regurgitate the same content, my PC set up here, PS4. But this right here, this shelf is what I want to draw your attention to and just dive into this a little bit and we're going to start with the original Xbox collection because guys, it is weak, we got some games right here and we got some games up here, I'm just going to go ahead and move vault boy out the way so it's really really poor shenmue 2 is probably my favorite game in my original xbox collection but i just neglect it so damn much as you guys can see there are some cross um kind of cross platform titles on the ps2 as well such so as like 13 really decent game and fahrenheit as well naturally halo 2 isn't cross platform at all it belongs to the xbox um, but I don't actually think I have all the Halo games here, it's, it's so damn weak, it's awful. Half-Life 2 I really really love, also as well that is probably another one of my favourite um, original Xbox titles, you can't go wrong with a bit of Half-Life 2 and we are still waiting for Half-Life 3, may I add. So, pretty disappointing really, let me just move this out of the way, oh by the way if anybody has this, it is horrific to smell, it's absolutely horrendous, it's supposed to smell like blood on dry wood. Um, but yes, that's another story. Um, Burnout 3 Takedown, pretty decent um, Xbox um, original game. My, me and my auntie used to play that a lot. And you've got your you Doom there, I think Resurrection of Evil is the DLC. Morrowind, obviously we know, is um, an exclusive, well, I say exclusive, it, it isn't available on PS2. So I think overall it is worth snagging an original Xbox if you don't have one. Um, I know a lot of you don't, I was quite surprised at how many people in my Facebook group actually don't own an original Xbox, um, but there are some decent titles, just for your Half-Life if anything else. So how poor is that guys? It's split between two shelves, but it is pretty damn poor, we've got excuse the Amiga games wedged in there, we've got some Pokemon cards and some special editions there, but forget about that. But yeah, ultra ultra poor stuff, let me know in the comments below. What else can I do to pad this out? I think I'm just going to have to buy a crazy bundle one day and just really get things sorted with that. Second week part of my collection is definitely my DS collection. Um, again, like ultra, ultra poor. Um, GTA Chinatown Wars right there. Um, all your staple stuff really with some Final Fantasies and some Dragon Quest and some Super Mario titles. Um, and then some it kind of like merges into my weak 3DS. But I wanted to kind of keep it retro-ish, it's like, yes, the DS is a retro handheld, or is it? Let me know, um, I've heard a couple of people that say it is, a couple of people that say it isn't, I've kind of, I, I don't know, I don't know if it is really retro, but this is it, look how pathetic that is, we've got Diddy Kong racing up there as well, and then a game 
that one of my subscribers sent out to me though, Worms Open Warfare, hanging at the back, but it is awful. Um, there's nothing about the DS that massively excites me, um, but if you've got any recommendations, again, let me know. But there's nothing else more I can say about it. I just wanted to show it. It's not even worth getting off the shelf, but it's so weak. But that is the nature of this video. And again, tag me on social media and let me know what some aspects of your collection are that are really weak and that you would like to change into maybe something a little bit stronger. So let's go right over here. You will see the weakest GameCube collection of all times. It is right down here. Oh, you like my Pikachu socks as well. There we go, lovely Pikachu socks. But as you guys can see, and I will put some of these out because the lighting is pretty terrible. This is it. This is my weak GameCube collection. Now, let me just grab some out. We'll just talk about some of these on the floor right here without me tipping them everywhere, if possible. This is a half the pile. I mean, it's absolutely shocking. Yes, there are some decent titles. And again, for me, it is definitely about quality versus quantity here. Uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, obviously. Sonic Heroes. Um, what else? We have Need for Speed Underground. Actually, a really good game. Into the Matrix, Resi 4, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, Donkey Kong. I actually don't own the, the drums for that, unfortunately. But nonetheless, I don't actually know where that came from. Um, it just appeared in my collection. So again, not the best Super Mario game in the world, but not bad. You know, I think it's, 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 I cringe sometimes when I play this. Sometimes I really enjoy it, but nine times out of 10, I'm cringing on Super Mario Sunshine. Resident Evil, what can we say about Resident Evil? It was remade, it's a remake of the original, and was remade again on the PS4. Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly. I think I picked this up at a, a market about a year ago. Lame, Harry Potter, Quidditch World Cup, never played it, SSX Tricky, excellent on the PS2, fabulous on the PS2, but I, I do enjoy it on the on the GameCube as well. And there's some classic Tony Hawk, which I think somebody gave that to me, and Rayman, which for me is in its own ultimately way back on the PS1. So between this right here and some Japanese some Japanese stuff right here, which I obviously I don't own. Again, a subscriber gave me these. I don't own a Japanese um, GameCube. This is it. This and this. So this concludes the third week area of my collection. I am ashamed of it, guys. But I think the rest of it definitely does make up here. Obviously, this is just one shelf. You've seen the majority of these in collection videos. Um, you know, the games room does, does span pretty far and wide all the way around to there so it's not too bad um, but again tag me on social media guys let me know you some of your thoughts and let's draw some final conclusions so there we go um, I was a PS2 girl over an Xbox original girl back in the day and that is I think has kind of migrated with me into um, being an adult so that's why my Xbox original collection isn't as beefy because I do prefer the PS2 on the whole and my PS2 collection I think there's over like 300 games now for that so in comparison it's quite large and with all of your kind of staple titles there. Um, so again like I said in the, in the beginning of this video let me know below some of the things that I need to pick up. Give me some ballpark prices as well as my knowledge on original Xbox stuff is absolutely shocking so definitely let me know. I was happy to pick up Shenmue 2. Uh, was a while back now, actually, thinks so quite a while back. Um, so super psyched to get that awesome stuff. A lot of you guys have been recommending it, so thank you very much. I do try where I can to listen to you. I really appreciate your feedback. And in a couple of weeks' time, maybe about a month's time, maybe five, maybe five or six weeks, I found somewhere that I'm going to go and do an epic, an absolutely epic retro game hunt. I'm not going to tell you guys where it is. But it is going to be awesome. I am super excited. So I'm just planting that seed now. But in the meantime, there'll be some retro game hunts either side of that. And maybe some charity shop stuff. And if I have the time, some car boot stuff. Because you guys keep asking for it. So please stay tuned and smack that subscribe button. For, but for now, guys, have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Gemma. Take care. See you soon.